Okay, uh, for these problems, you can just use the table method. N notice, we don't even know what the actual function is. So when you give your answer, and actually instead of f of x, you could say area is approximately, and then the lower bound is zero, the upper bound, the function is lowercase f of x, dx, that's very important, is about. Okay, that's how you're going to put your final answer. Um, I'm going to show you three tables. Because, well, I could show you four, but I'm going to show you the leftmost rectangle using the leftmost point, the rightmost point, the midpoint, how you could do that easily. And I'm going to re reorganize uh, just because I like looking at numbers vertically. So we have 0, 1, 4, 8, and 9. 0, 1, 8, 4, 8, and 9. And the y values. This one looks like it could be an upside down um, an inverted quadratic but maybe not or polynomial might be a better way of saying that uh oh i might have to do this for right now that's an eight that's a nine okay so if you are doing let me make that. Okay. If you are doing the leftmost point, remember the left is right. The leftmost point is you read left to right. So as we leave, leave uh, as we read left to, to right, this rectangle right here, if you were to draw that and at zero, we're up at three, at one, we're up at four. Right, so this left point, the rectangle is going to look like this. It would be at this height, so that would be the height. But for the right, uh, right side, the four, we would draw the rectangle. Let me do the. Whoops. I don't know why that's not letting me do that. Okay. We would draw, for the right side, we draw the rectangle up there like that. So you, you would do this. And then between those two, you would go there. Between those two, you would go there. Between those two, you would go there. So, and then we come back to this one. And all we're doing is these are now going to be the links, and the distance between those will be so that's a width of one, a width of three, a width of four, and a width of one. So one, three, four, back to one. And these are the heights. Now for a midpoint, the midpoint that we're talking about is here so that would be 0 0.5 or 1 half between let's see I think between here and here is 2.5 so if we look at a number line if this is 1 this is 4 so here's 2 here's 3 yeah 2.5 would be the midpoint between 4 and 8 6 would be the midpoint between 8 and 9 would be 8.5 right so then you would be looking for the midpoint here. That would be 3.5, 4.5, 5, 6.5, 7.5, 5, 5. So this is now our length. Um, well, the width is still the one, three, four, and one. So let me do that over here. One, three, four, and one. It's just that 
we had to find the midpoint to plug in the function to get this height. So, or this length. Okay, so I hope using the table method, that is one way that, that you can do it. So if you want to leave the rectangle uh, horizontal, so if it is a left, you'd take these two right here, and you'd go that way. If it were a right, you'd take these two right here, and you'd put point the arrows to the right. All right, that's it for this one.